Hello everyone, this is Amir Sen and you are watching Commerce Online. In this video, I will explain uh, the question number one in which we are going to solve accounting equation. So the first uh, question is that you have assets of 30,000 and liabilities of 18,000. What you need to do, you need to find out the gap between assets and liabilities. So as we know that the basic accounting equation is assets is equals to liabilities plus capital so in order to find out capital what you need to do you need to minus liabilities from assets and you will get capital so when we deduct liabilities from capital that is 30,000 minus 18,000 so what we got capital of 12,000 in the next question the assets given is 69,400 and the liabilities is 32,000 100 so what we need to do we need to subtract liabilities from assets that is 69,400 minus 32,100 and what we got we will get 37,000 in part c assets is given 47,500 capital is given 11,700 so what we need to do we need to subtract capital from assets to find out liability so here assets is 47,500 and capital is 11,700 so you will get 35,800 in question 1.1 part d assets are 71,800 and capital is 19,400 so what you need to do you need to subtract 71,000 800 minus 19,400 and you will get 52,400 so in part c as you know that the basic accounting equation is assets is equals to liabilities plus capital here assets here capital and liabilities are given so what you need to find out you need to find out assets so what you need to do you need to add liabilities and capital and you will get assets so here 28,100 plus 30,500 and you will get 58,600 in part F you need to add 47,200 plus 36,500 and you will get 83,700 so here in 1.2 e once again you need to find out the gap between assets liabilities and capital here assets are given 93,000 and liabilities are given 44,000 so what you need to do you need to subtract assets from liabilities so here 93,000 minus 44,000 you will get 49,000 in part B you need to find out assets so what you need to do you need to plus liabilities plus capital so you will get assets that is 71,500 here in part C assets are given capital is given and as you know that if you want to find out liability what you need to do you need to subtract assets from capital so here assets are 107300 minus 41500 and you will get 65800 in part d assets are 125500 Liabilities are 77,400 and that is 48,100 capital. In part E, assets are 114,700. Capital are 30, capital is 33,400. So what do you need to do? You need to find out liabilities. So you will apply the formula assets minus liabilities is equal to capital. So 114,700 minus 33,400 that is 81,300 so in the last part liabilities are given 64,600 capital is 21,300 what you need to do you need to find out capital so you will add liabilities plus capital and you will get assets so if I add 64,600 plus 21,300 I will get 85,900 so I hope you will like the lecture so please subscribe my channel and follow commerce online and that's it for today thank you